Hello guys, what's up? Welcome into another of app video. Today I am going to teach you how to make a collage in the other app. So if you don't know me yet, hey hi, what's up? My name is Justine Lamer. I am a graphic and brand designer and here on YouTube I love to give you some design tips and tricks as well as some tutorials about everything graphic design and branding. So if you are into that kind of content, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And anyways, let's get right into today's video. Before filming this video, I have decided to make the collage so you guys know what you're going to learn. So I've made a summer collage that I called Florida 2021 because I live in Florida and the beach and uh, the sun is my everyday life. So here is what I came up with with this collage and we are into the summer vibes. If you guys want to know how I made that collage with those graphics, keep on watching. This video is going to be a full tutorial. So I am about to show you my iPad in the uh, over app. You can do the same thing on your phone. Okay, little disclaimer over here. If you are using the other app for free, you might not have the same graphics that I am about to use. So if you are using other app for free, try to find free elements and follow along with me with the free elements you're gonna find through the app. Use your own pictures. If you pay for other app pro, then no worries. All right. Let's get right into my iPad. We are going to start with a blank canvas and yeah, you can choose any size of your canvas. I just like it to be really big so you can make a desktop wallpaper out of it. I think that's super cool with your own picture. I used only picture from Unsplash, but you can use your own picture and make a really cool desktop wallpaper um, collage. So, okay, so once you have opened your other app, you will be into the discover page, go into that plus button over here and choose white background because we're going to work on a white background. From here, you can choose any size. It doesn't really matter. It all depends on what you, what kind of collage you're looking for. I'm going to choose 2048 by 1365 pixels. And here we are blank canvas. From here you can choose pictures from your camera roll or you can choose picture from Unsplash. So this is what I did there. I just went on Unsplash and tap summer. And then I find those four pictures over here like on the top. So I'm going to select every one of them and put them randomly into my canvas. all of our pictures. So now what we will need to do is add the Polaroids. Where did I find the Polaroids? I went into graphic and I tapped Polaroid. So um, for the first one I used, I used this one. No, not even. I used a Polaroid from another graphic set. So um, let me show you exactly what I did because this is what we want to know, right? So I went to the Epic Color. Epic Collage. This is the name of the collection that I go to, so it's called the Epic Collage Maker. So this is where I found my first Polaroid. So you go all the way down and here is the Polaroid I used for the first picture. So I select it. It goes on the top of your pictures. You can use your two fingers and make it smaller. Then put it on a corner wherever you feel like it will look good on your design. Then you are selecting the picture underneath and resize it for it to fit the Polaroid. You should only have to crop that picture. So here on the, on the bottom of the options, you have filter, I just crop. So I just went into crop and custom. And from here, you can just red over those edges because you don't need it. The picture is underneath the Polaroid, so no problem. And just like that, you have your first picture into the Polaroid. Okay, so now let me keep on going with the Polaroids. So that's the first one I used, but then I went into Graphy, tap Polaroid, and find two more Polaroid for my pictures. So let me add those to the pictures. Okay, 
so I was really focusing, I wasn't uh, finding the right one for what I wanted to do. Okay, so um, now I'm going to show you how to make sure each Polaroid is, so all those Polaroids are above the pictures, right? But into your layer panel here, your Polaroids are right above each other. And you want to make sure that each Polaroid is above the picture that is that it's above on. Is, is that make sense? I'm going to show you. So for example, the this Polaroid over here, it's good, it's above this uh, lady here. This one needs to be above the uh, sunglasses and this one needs to be above um, the um, people at the beach. All right, for this picture over here, I decided to do something else and use another kind of frame. So I went to gra graphics and I did summer frame just to give another vibe. Then I scrolled down until I found this one. And you're like, Justine, this is not the same size. How am I going to do this? Well, you do the same. You put it on the corner of the picture, then select the picture and crop it. Custom, crop it and check. And keep it like this. That's perfect. That's a collage. It doesn't have to be extremely perfect like this. It's great. All right. So now if you want to select one of the picture because you want to move it, I think this one be maybe more like here. What I'm doing right now, it's only like resizing and um, punching with my fingers to make it bigger or not. So if you move this, you can see that the Polarid is above those two Polarid because in my layer panel, that Polarid here is above everything else. So we're gonna take this lady, put it back over here, make sure it's correctly put into the Polarid and we're going to take both of the lady and the Polarid and bring it behind, no you, you, you go there, behind everybody else. So now, we have our structured pictures, photographies. Like it like this, we're gonna keep it like that. To add some more elements and some more paper feel, collage feel to your design. To do so, we are going to go into graphic and we are going to tap the Epic Graphic Maker because I don't know, that's just my favorite um, collection. And here, I love those up paper cut graphics so i'm going to use that big one over here i am just i'm using my fingers again and i am rotating everything to put it on the corner here so once again this is above my pictures and i don't want that to happen so i'm going to go into my layer and i'm going to bring this paper all the way on the Back. So let's see, in, the des in my other design, I put this a little bit more up, like here, that sounds great. Okay, love it. Next, we're going to add the other one that is on the other side, the same, the epic. We don't have to do the epic <laughs> each time, you can just save the collection. It's just a save, but I have so many collections that it's saved really far away. For the text, I use this one. I need to flip it to go into this corner uh, over there. So you go into rotate beside opacity and blur go into rotate and just flip it there you go and now put it on the corner okay so now let's add a text so to add a text go into text i am using wink wink font duo so here first i'm going to write summer and i'm going to put it a little sideways like this this is what i did right yeah sounds exactly the same okay great in my other design i added another paper cut to put behind summer so this is what we are going to do so let's go back into graphic you know the deal the epic um, collage maker and I believe I used this one so I rotate it put it on the summer and I took that paper cut and put it all the way back just underneath this one so now I have a little bit of paper cut here as well now I'm gonna duplicate this summer because I want to keep the same font and I'm going to make it vertical double click on it and change what you want to write write whatever you want me I want to write Florida 2021 so you go into blend here and you're gonna choose the overlay for this one so what do we miss 
We miss our palm, our palm trees on the back and we miss our palm trees on that paper cut here and some elements in between pictures. So let's do that next. Okay, so now we are going to add our background. To do so, you are going back into graphic and you're going to looking for summer. From there, try to find the summer, I think it's this one, yeah, the summer collection by Type and Graphics Lab. And then here you have your palm trees and all the little cuteness that you can find in this pack. And here they are black, but you can put them white or you can put them a different color. It's up to you. You choose what the vibe you want to go for. I'm going to do black. I am going to resize it and once I really like where they are and how they look I am going to take this and bring it all the way to the bottom because you want it as a background next you want to add the same palm tree on that paper cut over here and blend it so we're going to go back into graphic search for summer from type and graphic labs and this time I chose Zeus palm trees. So I took those palm trees, I put them on this paper cut here. So I took those palm trees and I'm going to put them just above the paper cut here and then I'm going to blend them. First what I should do is actually change the color. So I'm going to put them black. Here you go. And now I'm going to blend them. Okay. The last thing that we need to do is to add that big giant leaf in between the picture to give another 3D effect, like a collage effect. So you're going to graphic and guess where we're going? The Epic Collage Maker. It's my favorite, guys. All right, into the Epic Collage Maker, you will have a big, huge leaf like that. So rotate that leaf and put it wherever you feel like it will be the great area to make it in between pictures. So I want my leaf to be above the girl and the people on the beach, but I want it to be under the sunglasses, right? Yes, exactly. So I'm gonna do it like that. And so I need to bring the leaf under this, but above others. So see, this is under the sunglasses and yet this is above those people. So now when I check, this is where my leaf is. So it's under the sunglasses. So now I can resize it to make it go like out of the picture and give this 3D effect. You can add as many things as you want in your college. This is the final result. I love it and just get extremely creative. You've created a collage in the Over app. I hope you learned something today. If you did, please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to like this video. That will really help me out. Anyways, you guys, until next time, take care and I'll see you soon. Bye.